News.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We've got a professor coming up in about 20 minutes to get us some key intel on epigenetics. Right now, we're taking your phone calls. I want the perspective of black folks out there, uh, whether you agree with me or disagree with me, that the way they're hyping this whole Clippers deal is meant to create more division. While the banks rob us blind and are tax exempt, and while these sports owners are tax exempt, I mean, I hate Sterling. I hate Jerry Jones. I hate Ecclestein with the Formula One track. I mean, they have robbed me with state and local taxes to pay for their multi-billion dollar facilities. They robbed you. Nothing makes me madder than some rich guy who's tax exempt. Who, by the way, lectures me that I got to raise my taxes to pay them. That's the discrimination. And it makes me want to throw up. I don't care if a team owner is black or white. I don't like them if I'm having to pay for their sports stadium. But if they get everybody racially obsessed, they can say, hey, you want guns? You're racist. You don't like Obamacare? It's because you don't like Obama. No, I don't like Obamacare because it's a big screw job because I studied the bill. But I don't get into this racial division stuff. I do cover it, though, so people understand what's happening. Maybe folks disagree. We're going to talk to P, Daryl, Hollins, and Eli. P, you're on the air. Uh, welcome from Florida. What's your take on this? Well, uh, you know, I'm, I'm African-American. I'm black. As well, I'm here. I'm with my girlfriend. I'm wa we've been watching the show. Uh, she watches every day, and um, she told me to call in because I don't. I'm not really a, a watcher that much. Um, I, I don't really got time for this. No, no, I understand. Anyway, I mean, so you're giving us your real take on it. Go ahead. Yeah, my my take is basically that um, this this dude right here with the um, with the yelling about the the black people. I think he 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 needs to um, to watch his mouth. You know what I'm saying? Because um, that's kind of disrespectful. Well, no kidding. The guy's obviously out of his mind, completely delusional. Most of his team's black, and he, he's friends with these people on the surface. And then meanwhile, talking trash about, I mean, I think the main thing is he's mad that she's running around on him, but what does he expect? The guy's just an idiot. My point is, do you get the fact that they're hyping it to create a diversion from how we're all being robbed? Well, I see what you're saying about how I'm being robbed because um, um, when I went to the mall, I went to go buy a pair of Jordans, and and the price was like $135, and um, and I only make 275 per week. So I'm I'm trying to figure out like why would I buy these sneakers at so much money? You know what I'm saying? When exactly, exactly. And they sell it as culture, so you'll pay more for it when it was actually made by Chinese slaves. And it's just incredible. Really good points. Appreciate your call. Eli in New York. Go ahead. You're on the air. Uh, hello, Alex. Um, yeah, I'm, I, too, am uh, African-American, black, you know, whatever the million uh, <laughs> different kinds of names they put to anyone who has a little melanin in their skin. But, you know, I, I completely agree. These, these racially divisive tactics have completely put a smoke screen up and most people are plugged into the <clears throat> matrix of the news and sports and get sucked into the you know these these ridiculous debates while these snakes strangle us all and it's ridiculous and i, I try as my the best i can you know living in harlem there there, there are two groups you know they're they're the more you know politically aware older groups and the you know more politically unaware younger groups and we you know it's 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 really tough to you know try to get this through to people that don i mean this is known donald sterling has been known to be, be a racist this is not the first thing he said then did these these things come up at the most ridiculous times when you know world war three might start in ukraine while these banks rob us <clears throat> until there's nothing left you know i'm i'm it's just it pisses me off like 
just like the war on poverty, the war on, war on racism, as if it's going to disappear one day. It's ridiculous. Great points. Anything else? No, I mean, I, I just want to, you know, tell you to keep doing what you're doing. And, you know, your message is getting through to all cultures, all races. It's, 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 it's about humanity. It's not about skin color or religion. Exactly. Hey, we're all getting chemtrails. <laughs> We're all, they're putting stuff in all the vaccines. They're coming after everybody. And that's my point. That's why they want us fighting with each other. More calls coming up. Daryl, others, stay with us. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. A few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the new world order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Seems like everybody I know knows someone who's dying of brain cancer from ages 25 or so up to 60, 70. And I love to just invite Dr. Group here every month or so and let him bring whatever topic is that he wants to cover. And today he gave me some of the points he wants to go over. The studies, and I've got a stack of news on this, about what smart meters, Wi-Fi, but especially cell phones are doing to your brain. It's a death sentence. And I see people with phones up to their heads, and I just go over and say something to them. And then even I lose my hands free or my headset and do it myself sometimes. We've got, if you've got cell phones, folks, you've got, because with microwave radiation, it, it, it r reduces in power every distance. I've talked to engineers out from the length of the antenna, basically, or the wave and, and how the antenna's cut. But basically, when you've got it right up against your brain, it's full power shooting right through your skull, only about a quarter inch into your brain. That's where these tumors are coming up. 
A lot of scientists have been going public, top doctors. They had studies back in the 60s on this, 70s, 80s. We're going to talk about that and more with him uh, in the third hour today. But you can just pull up mainline CNN, BBC, you name it. But the big lobby is trying to act like it's no big deal. And sure, it's not good for you when it's a foot away from your head. But if you look at 12 inches away or 24 inches away, if it's sitting in the driver's side seat, you got a wire going to your head. Or if you're using a hands-free, then it's just a radio connection. It's literally hundreds of times not as strong. So if you're going to use these devices, it's, it's like they finally told cops about a decade ago, don't sit in your car with the radar gun between your legs. Because even when you're not pulling the trigger, it's generating RF. And the cops were all getting you know, huge increases in testicular cancer. Just like TSA has huge cancer clusters. You sit around x-ray machines all day. And they go, oh, well, they're shielded by some lead. That doesn't block all of it. It shoots out the front and the back. Now they've added more scanners in. It's a death sentence. Look at the inventor of x-rays. You know, she died of cancer. Young. So we're going to be talking about that. we got another professor coming on about epigenetics. Really fascinating stuff here in a few minutes. I haven't gotten to all the other news uh, that I've got here in front of me before I go back to your calls. All over the country, they're coming in with zoning laws to only let coffin apartments be built that are 200 square feet. Austin's now doing it. So they can charge you more per unit and get more property tax. How do you get more taxes? You lower standard of living. And that's uh, out of Fox News. Stackable container homes tested in New York City. And the argument is, oh, it's for poor people. No, it's not. It's being rolled out to lower the standards. It's Agenda 21. Get the book, Behind the Green Mask, available at InfoWarsStore.com. Read it and understand it. Or my book that predicted it all, my film that predicted it all, uh, in game blueprint for global enslavement made eight years ago that says they're going to build coffin houses because they said they would and they say it's for control and surveillance and they're going to raise the taxes and stuff till they run everybody out of the country that's why we've got to run to the country now as many of us as we can to build communities where we only buy from each other i don't care what color you are we discriminate against the big major corporations the new world order we don't do business with them except when we absolutely have to. We go to mom and pops. We go to farmer's markets. We support people. We hire veterans. We hire people that because of whatever culture they come out of, they've been discriminated against. If they show they've got what it takes. Oh, you're a veteran they claim has all this stuff wrong with you? We're going to hire you. We don't believe the stereotype. So you see, that's how we defeat the, the classism that isn't even just classism of rich people not liking poor people. It's ultra technocracy eugenicist playing God over everyone. Like mad scientists, they're the enemy. And I don't care what race or creed you are. We better come together against this and not let them win because they're coming down on everybody. Now I said I wanted to talk to black folks about their take on the Clippers deal. Am I wrong that this is being hyped for a diversion? This is not endorsing what the Clipper guy said. It's off, over the top. But some rich 80-year-old guy who's known to be an elitist racist, I'll guarantee you that guy hates everybody. And he's a hypocrite, too. He's dating a lady that's like part black, Hispanic. I think a couple of, I mean, big deal. He's out of his mind. He's a hypocrite. As I've read a statistic years ago that the number one area for interracial porn is the deep south i mean it's the same deal here's this guy doesn't like quote minorities and then he's dating his girlfriend that i mean she looks like she's black and asian to me the whole point is just a bunch of it's ridiculous ladies and gentlemen it's absolutely ridiculous okay and i've already said it over and over again let's just go to your phone calls daryl in virginia what is your take on this Yes, sir. This is Crip Ron Paul. Uh, I definitely want to get to that uh, Snoop Dogg and uh, Michael Jordan topic in just one second. But yeah, this is the distraction was going on. They're going to pass some crazy bill while, you know, the rest of America is being distracted by entertainment. Now, we have to understand that, yes, ignorance and racism still exist in all races, but why are we not out there bashing the real racist people like Eric Holder, 
Barack Obama, Ben Bernanke, Hillary Clinton, the real elitist that's, that's actually killing people out there. Now, when it comes to this 